Did you ever make the mistake of holding on to your investment for too long? Especially today when everything in the stock market continues to rise and fall, then suddenly one day you wake up and it's a big crash. Keep watching. So back in 2008, I had a similar experience. I was heavily leveraged in real estate. I owned a lot of stocks. Everything just went to crap in 2008. And I did panic and I did end up selling some stuff I shouldn't have sold. Boy, I wish I still had that crystal ball to look back. It's easy to panic and sell everything when this happens, but that doesn't have to be the case because there are ways to handle this type of situation. Here are some tips, even if the worst of things happen in the stock market, it would be the best to settle your debts before the market crashes. Because if you have debts and the market crashes, there's a higher chance that you will panic sell to deal with those debts immediately. So assess your debt. If it's manageable with your cash flow, then you're in control and there's less to worry about. If not, settle your debts now as much as possible, or it would significantly affect your finances later on. Also, check the signs. If the rates keep rising because of inflation, it's often a sign that you have to settle your debts quickly because if you can't keep up with the rising rates and paying your debts, your money will quickly go down the drain and you'll end up spending a lot more money just to pay the original debt because the interest rates start to go up higher and higher. One of the things I always advise is an emergency fund. I was really light on an emergency fund even though I had a lot of capital. It wasn't liquid in 2008. I started to struggle just to find ways to pay down debts and stuff. So having an emergency fund ready will help you cushion your financial health in any crash. You know, some say the target should be three months. I think it really should be six months of emergency funds because usually when the market crashes, jobs are lost. So if you own buildings and if you depend on people, all these circumstances start to change. So six months is what I like to go with. And when a disaster happens, your emergency fund will help prevent you from selling your stocks at a low price. So having six months of money to help you survive, to buy a cent while planning for the next steps in case a crash does happen. Another strategy you can utilize is to withdraw money from your five-year stocks that are already gained profit. When the market crash happens, it usually takes years to recover. So it's best if you turn some of those gains into cash to help you during this crash. And if you know you need the money within a specific time or year, don't put them in a volatile investment such as crypto. Put them in the bank or bonds instead. Now, a little while ago, I talked about bonds and I got a whole bunch of you know what from different viewers. But guess what? In the news, there's nothing but talk about bonds now as a safety measure. This way, you'll be able to withdraw the money you need being more liquid. Before I tell you the last one, if you like this type of content, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure to that like and subscribe button. Let the algorithm know that this content is worthy so I can continue to make videos like this every single week. And make sure you turn on the notification bell as well. I always say this in my videos, but it's important that you research the stocks you own. Don't just blindly buy because it's a trending market and you saw some stupid news report that told you to go and buy this. Know the value first, and then that'll help you grasp if your stock is going to be profitable. Just like if you were gonna buy into a business, you don't blindly just buy because some guy on the street recommended for you. Make sure you understand the business of the stocks that you're buying and find consistent proof on why their business will continue to stand in the future. And also know what their competitive advantage is. You should know if the stocks in the business that you just invested in has a great business model, if it's been tried and tested. Then you can just hold on to them and wait for them to increase in value over time, or even even better, sell when it's the right time to sell instead of panicking. Buy at the dip, or you can choose to buy more of that particular stock when it actually dips. You can also buy stock market simulators to try different outcomes based on research, and so you can feel comfortable with your decision. If you're still worried, just hire a financial advisor who does this day in and day out, and they're experts in their field, but do your best to research by yourself first. Try to settle some debts to avoid financial disaster in the future. Ready your emergency funds so that you have enough money to plan your next steps during a crash, and withdraw some money from those stocks that have already gained profit over the last five years, that adds diversity to your portfolio. And more importantly, know the value of the stocks and the companies that you're buying as an indicator of what's next to move, what's gonna go up, and try to predict based on great research and gut instinct sometimes. There's a lot of things that are going on in the marketplace, upheaval, wars, pandemics, and nobody really knows how the market's going to react. But I made a video about inflation and how to protect yourself during this crazy times. Go ahead and hit this video next if you wanna find out how to protect yourself further.